Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon. We are back with another video. Today, we're talking about BitTensor Tau and more specifically, subnet number 62, Ridges. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and you've got a completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin waiting for you in the description below this video. Grab it now and let's talk about Ridges. Okay, so like I said, we're jumping in to talk about subnet number 62, Ridges. And if you're not already familiar, Ridges is an AI protocol acting as a subnet in the BitTensor ecosystem. And what they do is they provide AI software agents that can replace or supercharge human coders. Think of it as like the decentralized version of cursor AI, which we will talk about in a moment. But in the world of software engineering, of course, we're seeing artificial intelligence helping engineers become much more proficient, much more efficient with their time and their ability to generate, create and patch code. So what we're seeing is ridges as a subnet doing this in a decentralized manner and tackling the $400 billion per year software engineering market. Again, looking here on Taustats, Ridges has been climbing through the ranks very recently. We can see a huge surge in price. It's gone from, if we zoom out here, even over the past couple of weeks on the daily chart, we've had a huge run up in price for Ridges. It's been gathering and garnering a lot of attention. We've gone from prices, even as recently as the end of June, at 0.004 to all the way point to 0 0.058 tau per token. It's currently sitting at $21.20, and it has climbed through the ranks to now become the fourth largest subnet by total emissions earned on a daily basis. It's only behind a fine Celium and shoots. So Ridges has been climbing through the ranks and they have this kind of two-phase go-to-market approach, which we'll talk about, where essentially contributors and coders are able to uh, produce models that compete against each other on the Ridges network, incentivized agentic training, and anyone can do this. That is the beauty of open source software and open source artificial intelligence happening on Ridges, happening on the BitTensor network. If we look at the network analytics here, what you're basically seeing in this dashboard is all of these different models that are being uploaded by different users that are competing against, against the Ridges benchmarking score to try and continuously improve upon their, upon their problem solving set. And so you're seeing this top score having increased from something like 47% versus centralized competitors over the past few weeks up to this 66% area. And it's only a matter of time before we see Ridges and their models beginning to outpace their centralized competitors, just like Cursor. So that is the beauty of open source software and open source artificial intelligence. If creates both a competitive and a collaborative environment where all of these contributors are competing against each other on ridges, but they are collaborating um, in order to create better models in an open source fashion compared to their closed source counterparties. And like I said, if you are a developer or want to become a miner on the Ridges network. Essentially, you can sign up with a Google account. It's super, super simple, and anyone can contribute a model to start getting scored against the Ridges AI benchmark. And the daily prize pool operates in a winner take all minor emissions fashion. You can see here daily prizes of up to 40,000 US dollars every single day. And that winner takes all means that whoever builds the best agent in that 24 hour period as scored by all the validators on the network are going to get that $40,000 prize pool. So that winner takes all minor emissions um, schedule is happening every 24 hours. And just like I said, anyone with a Google account can sign up, sign in and start submitting models to start getting benchmark scored versus the rest of the people um, that are deploying models and uploading them here directly into Ridges. So very competitive environment, but the incentives here on Ridges are very, very lucrative. 
again, the cost to run these models in a decentralized open source fashion is what is really driving a lot of the hype and garnering a lot of attention for Ridges. Because if we jump over here, they were quoted on a recent podcast and the founder of Ridges was talking about how they were 250 times cheaper than closed source comparative top models. And again, he actually came out thereafter and had a correction to that statistic. He's now saying that they're currently about 380 times cheaper versus the top closed source models. And again, this is what happens when you see open source AI models reaching scale and getting contributions from developers and miners all around the world. Again, the inference is 380 times more expensive with Claude Opus compared to the Shoots AI model. And again, everything that Ridges are doing here is operating on Shoots, another BitTensor subnet, using that as the infrastructure layer, the serverless AI compute that's operating under the hood to help Ridges continue to grow and scale. So like I said, they have this two-phase go-to-market approach where all of these miners are competing against each other to continuously increase the benchmark score for Ridges. And then once they feel their product is at a point where it is truly competitive with their closed source competitors, they're going to have a product launch in September and roll out this product to the market so that developers and software engineers can begin using that. And again, they're hoping to put a dent in that $400 billion per year software engineering market. So this is phenomenally cheaper compared to those closed source models. And of course, they haven't spent nearly the amount of capital or raised the same amount of capital that their closed source counterparties just like Cursor have done as well. Recently, Cursor raised a $900 million Series C funding round with a $9.9 billion valuation. That $900 million Series C was based on a almost $10 billion valuation for a cursor. And what you're seeing now is Ridge is making moves to really become a truly decentralized competitor to cursor AI. And if we jump back over to Tau stats, phenomenally, even after this huge run up and surge in price, Ridges is sitting at a $48 million market cap. So a $10 billion valuation for Cursor versus a $48 million valuation for Ridges right now, you could make a very good argument that even with this huge surge in price, it's done almost an 8 to 10x here, actually even more in the past, uh, essentially less than two months, you have um, Ridges going from about a four to $5 million market cap up to a $48 million market cap, it could still be argued that Ridges is significantly undervalued compared to um, the centralized counterparties just like Cursor if it's raised $900 million at essentially a $10 billion valuation. So the cost to run against these centralized competitors, like I said, is that big area that's seeing Ridges drive so much attention and hype and if we see it and its models becoming truly competitive to the likes of Cursor, I do think we're going to see that valuation for Ridges continue to move to the upside. Again, you could make an argument that we're still 10x undervalued. That would only get you to a $500 million market cap, and you're still looking at it then being compared to the likes of um, Cursor 20x less in market cap even if it does a 10x from here. So just ponder those numbers. Again, nothing in this video is financial advice, guys, but it is extremely interesting to see how Ridges are tackling the software agent market with all of this AI agent competitive landscape. Again, that winner takes all model is very interesting and exciting to see. And again, the open source collaborative nature of decentralized permissionless AI taking place on the Tau network, again, continues to amaze me week over week that we see all of these subnets really beginning to shine. And even though some of subnet prices are still relatively low compared to what, where it was a few months ago, the infrastructure, the people, and the actual builders, validators, miners behind the subnets are continuing to put in the work every single day to grow their subnets 
in the Tau ecosystem. So ponder these numbers. Is Ridges extremely undervalued even after doing an 8 to 10x in the past two months? Drop me a comment below this video if you think so. On top of all of this, if you have exposure to Ridges, you can also be generating some really lucrative staking yield. So just like we said, Ridges has risen through the ranks to be generating um, you know, the fourth largest amount of emissions on a daily basis. But you can also see it's possible to be getting about 60% APY simply from having exposure to ridges and continuing to ride on the coattails of its 47% price appreciation in the past week, but also you're generating phenomenal staking yield from all these validators on the ridges subnet in conjunction with having exposure to the subnet alpha token. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that deep dive into Ridges. Lots of exciting stuff happening. Their product launch coming in September, that two-phase go-to-market approach where they're curating all those inputs with a competitive environment for all of those miners who are submitting different models. That winner takes all emissions, $40,000 every single day up for grabs. Check it out if you're a developer, if you have the ability to be submitting those types of models that could improve the Ridges ecosystem and ridges network if you enjoyed that deep dive please just take three seconds do it right now smash that thumbs up button below the video hit subscribe hit that bell notification icon there is a link in the video description for ridges you can check out more on their x page as well and don't forget to grab your completely free copy of the rise of bitcoin waiting for you below and we'll catch you in the next one